Welcome to the Shias Pure Map. Hello friends. Today we are going to discuss quadratic simultaneous equations. We are going to solve simultaneous equations involving one linear equation and one quadratic equation. So for that we are going to use substitution method. Please refer to my video under the title substitution method so that you can understand the substitution method clearly. And for that one linear equation and one quadratic equation will get two pairs of solutions. Let me repeat simultaneous equations with one linear and one quadratic equation can have up to two pairs of solutions. Let us see some exam let us see one example problem. Given that 3 power x is equal to 9 power y minus 1, show that x is equal to 2y minus 2. And you have to solve the simultaneous equations x is equal to 2y minus 2 and x square is equal to y square plus 7. So this is the linear equation and this is the quadratic equation. So it involves power 1 that is x power 1 and y power 1. Here it involves power 2 x power 2 and y power 2. Hence, it is a quadratic equation. So, let us solve the a part now. So, given that 3 power x is equal to 9 power y minus 1. So, this 9 can be written as 3 square. And this y minus 1 remains as such. Now, in the next step, 3 power x is equal to 3 power 2y minus 1. So, we know the formula a power m the whole power n is equal to a power m into n. So, I am applying this here. So, it will be 2 into y minus 1. So, 2 into y minus 1 will be 2y minus 2. Since the base are same, we can equate the exponents. Therefore, x is equal to 2y minus 2. So, this is the thing we have to prove. x is equal to 2y minus 2. So, we have proved x is equal to 2y minus 2. So, this is the required answer. Now, let us solve the p problem. So, the given equations are x is equal to 2y minus 2 and x square is equal to y square plus 7. Let this be first equation and let this be second equation. Now, we are going, now we are going to apply substitution method. Hence, substitute 1 in 2. So, what is x? x is equal to 2y minus 2. So, I am substituting 2y minus 2 in the place of x. So, I am getting 2y minus 2 the whole square is equal to y square plus 7. Once again, I repeat, I am substituting the value of x which is in the first equation. I am substituting in the second equation. So, in the place of x, I am getting 2y minus 2 from the first equation. Okay. Now, now, I am going to apply the formula a minus b the whole square is equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square for this. So, if I apply the formula 2y the whole square will be 4y square minus 2y into 2 into 2 that is minus 8y plus 2 square will be 4. I have applied this formula and the remaining y square plus 7 remains as such. Now, 4y square I am keeping as such. This y square I am bringing to the other side. And this minus 8y I am keeping as such plus 4 then minus 7 is equal to 0. So now 4y square minus y square is 3y square minus 8y minus 7 is equal to 0. Now if I apply factorization. So 3, 3, 3 is a 9 that is 3 into minus 3 is minus 9. So I have to select factors such that if I multiply these two I will be get I will be getting minus 9 and if I add that I have to get this value minus 8. So therefore this is plus 1 and minus 9. Then only I will be getting the factor minus 8. That is if I add plus 1 and minus 9 I will be getting minus 8. So I have written the factors 1y and minus 9y. All the other terms remains as such 3y square and minus 3. So, I have split the factors. Now, I am going to factorize from these two terms. I am taking y outside. And from the next two terms, I can take minus 3 outside. So, if I take minus 3 outside, remaining y 
plus 1. Sorry, that's the correction. If I take minus 3 outside, you will be having 3y. Then only you will be getting 3, 3 is 9y. Okay, so 3y plus 1. So, I am writing the same step again. y into 3y plus 1 minus 3y plus 1 is equal to 0. From this two terms, I am taking 3y plus 1 as common value. So, the remaining y minus 3 is equal to 0. 3y plus 1 is equal to 0 or y minus 3 is equal to 0. So, from this 3y is equal to minus 1. So, y is equal to minus 1 by 3. If y minus 3 is equal to 0, then y is equal to 3. So, we have got two y values. Now, let us take the first equation in order to find the x value. x is equal to 2y minus 2. If y is equal to 3, then x is equal to 2 into 3 minus 2. So, 2 into 3 minus 2 is 2, 3 is a 6, 6 minus 2 is 4. So, x value is 4. So, if y is equal to minus 1 by 3, then we can substitute in this equation. So, x is equal to 2 into minus 1 by 3 minus 2. Therefore, you will be getting the value minus 8 by 3. If we convert to mixer fraction, it will be minus 2, 2 by 3. So, this is the x value when y is equal to minus 1 by 3. This is again a solution. So, we have got two paths of solutions. We have got two paths of solutions 4, 3 and minus 2, 2 by 3, comma, minus 1 by 3. Okay. Let, let me repeat the steps. So, this is a linear equation and this is a quadratic equation. Now, I am substituting the equation 1 in 2. So, I am getting a quadratic equation in terms of y. I am factorizing that and getting two values for, for y. Because the quadratic equation what I obtained is in terms of y. So, I am getting two y values. Again, I am substituting in the equation 1 to get two x values. Hence, I got two solutions for this problem. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Like and comment. Please to subscribe to our channel.